G'day guys, M Tim Tam here. Today I'm gonna try and push out another three tutorials, three last ones, um, to what pretty much covers the ins and outs of the Octane plugin within Blender. Um, they are Skylight and render settings in the live database. So let's get started. Now the uh, the Skylight um, is very limited within Octane Blender. I don't know. I've been trying to work it out, but I just can't get it. I can't get the actual features that I want to work. Please correct me if I'm wrong, because it's annoying me. Anyway, let's get the basics done. So let's just get a quick scene up. All right. So now the daylight. Once you automatically put your your renders, your your, your rendering on, it automatically goes to the daylight system. And since it's the first one there, then that's the first one we'll be using. So. As you can see in the environment presets, in the environment tab, I mean, uh, there is daylight and texture. Um, here is the power, to which is the actual power of the sun. Stock standard. Here we have the important sampling. It's a new feature that's been put into better sample you've seen and not make it look so noisy. Um, next, we have the latitude. Changes the sun directions and the latitude, longitude and latitude. Sorry, and we will set the day and the month. So right now it is the twelfth. It is the twenty-third, and it is twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Dot two four. Um, that is somewhat right, maybe. Um, also, like like we said, we have the day, month, GMT offset, hour turbulence, um, the north set, and the sun size. So pretty much, the sun size pretty much softens your shadow to make it look look much more realistic. I just found out we had this feature like last month, not even that, and I was like, oh, so that's where it is, finally. Um, also we have the model, so we have the old one, the ugh, old one and the new one, the yay one. We we'll also have a sun skit, sunset preset colors, or not preset, just the colors. I pretty much just stuffed it up now, but oh uh, well. Now with the daylight tub, we have the daylight system, and then we have the direction. So um, it's a different type of X, Y, Z sort of um, control over it. I prefer the daylight system. Whatever works for you. That looks really cool. Okay, so that's the daylight system. The next one is the texture system, which is stock standard, mostly for nighttime scenes, and you want to put your mesh base sliding on. Um, you can. There's an option here to load textures. However, I just can't for life me get it to work. So annoying. Maybe it's because it's Blender based, but hopefully can get it fixed. Um, but anyway, you can change the color. I mean the power and everything. Mostly, I mostly use that for my, I turn everything off and turn the light on and everything. So that's pretty much the basics for the skylight texture. I mean the skylight workarounds for it, the basics. Um, next one would be the render settings. I'll see you next time.